Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Etherimp, aka Nonprofit from Clan ONA and from Minecraft Forums. Uh, again, I'd like to start out by thanking uh, Etho for helping me construct and wire this box here. And uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, a Neo Irony from the Minecraft Forums for helping me with the redstone wiring. I already made a video showing off my cannon. Uh, oh, just one thing I didn't mention in the last video. People may ask. Uh, why adminium and and obsidian and to be honest this is an smp server and a lot of people are going to be using this cannon we're going to use it for teaching people how to use cannons uh and in case there's any mistakes i'd really rather not you know rebuild the cannon every single time so we tried to make it as indestructible as possible um of course we could always delete the adminium by uh by placing crops underneath it and then tilling it so there's that i'm going to show you the red wire hell uh, this is actually pretty simple once you break it down uh, and one of the things I'd like to mention also is about the delay uh, as I mentioned in the last video every redstone torch we count as one delay okay so anytime a redstone torch gets activated and sends another signal uh, you know relaying it on to the next uh, unit uh, we count that as one delay so this is one delay right here this is two this is three and this is four and this is the this makes up our input okay so we have four delay on the input this uh, input or this this inverter leads to the first uh, and gate and this and gate is powered from uh, down below there's actually a little tunnel underneath this and it leads over here to this box and this is the control panel up there and if you walk down here you can see redstone torch is placed underneath the blocks and that's what activates our AND gates or or deactivates them accordingly so that's the first thing uh, the AND gates serve to split the signal basically if no AND gates are active then the signal comes down this along this wire and then it goes to this gate and if the gate is active it sends it on to the next gate if it's not then the signal continues to here and it, it follows this loop of uh, repeaters all the way around to the output. And the output is right here. And this is the warhead ignition, okay? So this ignites the warhead. Uh, this is, at, if you count these four, the input redstone torches on these inverters and the vertical wiring, it is a total of 32 uh, delay or 32 redstone torches each each repeater counts as two and each AND gate counts as two because one torch lights up and then it sends it to this torch and the signal carries on now if these are active if these AND gates are active uh, then it they will send a signal forward on to this one okay now what this does is it it is it sends the signal with less delay because it cuts out these two um, these two repeaters but you have to add in this and gate to your total so that's uh that's four six and then you know eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight all the way up to thirty uh up to thirty which is the output now if this gate next to it or this and gate is open then it also this and gate has a second output it sends it to this AND gate, which then sends the signal to here, which subtracts 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so if you get the idea, it basically reduces the amount of signal. You can't see that sign, but uh, these are all labeled. Uh, it reduces the time of the signal, the delay of the signal. Okay, uh, this AND gate also sends the signal down here to another repeater and to this AND gate. And this AND gate sends the signal way up ahead, ahead of the line. So basically what happens is if you have all of the AND gates enabled, it makes the signal shorter. The delay is much shorter. So it sends it all the way through. And the first, sig the first signal to reach the TNT is the one that takes the shortcut all the way up to here. And then any signal that hits after that is, ir is irrelevant because the TNT has already been ignited. Um, 
And that's about it. I mean, it, it's it's that simple. It was a little difficult to figure out, and that's why I got the help of uh, a Neo Irony and the wiring. Uh, Etho is pretty good with this stuff, so he helped me out with that. But uh, the concept in itself was my own. I haven't seen this before. I know that other people have added delay to their cannons, so I'm not sure how they did it, but I made this video to show you how I managed to do it and zero in on the exact numbers. Um, so that's, that's about it. Although, I'm going to just fire the cannon one more time, just for fun. Because, you know, what, what's a video without some cannon firing? So, uh, let's see, where's our delay set? We have 9 TNT, so I have about 8 to use. So we'll do a mid-range shot. Uh, another thing you'll notice is because uh, signals delay, or the, the delayed signals, uh, will arrive right after the initial signal, or the, the shortcut signal, uh, this light will actually go off for longer. The, sh the shorter, or yeah, the shorter your delay is, the redstone light will go off longer. So we go there. It stays off for quite a while. See, because that's set, it's several signals. It's four different signals all reaching the torch one after another. Whereas if you do the 32 delay, you hit it once, it waits for a long time, but then the light just comes on and goes off fairly quickly. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to post them, and I'll try to answer uh, the best of my ability. Thank you. Bye.